Um, hi Shelley, uh, welcome to Baristock. Thank you. Uh, now Shelley, are you willing to uh, answer the top horse top 10 questions? Sure I am. Okay, let's go. have to be at least approximately 20 years now. They've all been extremely memorable. I can't say I didn't individual any one of them. The first one probably is it was the very first one that I'd ever won with Kalaroo Elite. Um, but to be honest, they've all been incredibly memorable. Oh, absolutely, there's no, absolutely no question about that. The, t the quality of the horses and the level these days is unbelievable. The show itself has really improved, it's um, expanded, they're covering a lot more um, disciplines and um, all the different styles of horses, all the different levels. Um, look, everything has just improved, it's just been steadily improving for many, many years. Look, I think they're doing an extremely good job, but I do feel that in the open hack section there is definitely room for improvement and splitting that class into two, at least two different heights. There is such a wide range of horses these days and in every height group there is enough to make an exceptional top ten um, so that the little horses don't have to compete against the bigger horses and there's just as many good big horses as there are small ones these days and I think that is something that they could definitely look at splitting which would be a major improvement. Ooh. Um, it's hard to know which one's been the most successful. Probably SP Havana. Um, he's been incredibly successful um, all over the country but particularly here at Barristock. He's been um, four times Barristock show hunter champion plus he's won the international show hunter champion twice he's also been very successful as an open hack prior to being a show hunter he won, went champion at canberra royal um, he's won at adelaide he's won everywhere in the country he's been an incredibly successful horse i had a friend that um, often spotted horses for me and he rang me one day and he said i've got five minutes to make up my mind on this horse and i live five hours away to, from him and i said to him well if you like him, just grab him. And um, that's what we did. I bought him over the phone. Um, the horse arrived at home while I was at Adelaide Royal and someone commented to me at the time that was at home and said, oh, I don't think he's very nice. He's just a pony club horse. And when I saw him, I didn't think he was a pony club horse. I thought he was lovely. And um, he's been one of my most successful horses I've ever had. So he's been unbelievable. And it was just a chance I took just over the phone he wasn't that sure, he wasn't sure whether he was quite what I was looking for, but he's been a brilliant horse, absolutely brilliant. So I certainly have, I've won it quite a few times actually. I, I won originally with Kalaroo Elite, which was a small Galloway. I then went on and won it with a big Galloway called In Town Tonight. I've also won the Show Hunter Hack with a grey horse called Mandeville and also SP Havana and I've had many runner-ups and things like that. So yes, I've certainly had an, excep an exceptional run with it. It's been great. Look, it's a long-term thing. It's not something that's a five-minute job. Um, there's, lots, there's a lot of work that goes on months and months and months before to get the horses to where they need to be and getting them settled and, and into the work and just a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of good feed. Um, I think feed is very important. I'm a um, great believer of the Barristock products. Um, have used them for many, many years and have never changed. Love the feed, love the sensible temperaments it gives me with the horses and it makes them very trainable. No, I don't actually. Um, I don't have any good luck charms. Yes, look, don't allow yourself to be flustered. Make sure you give yourself plenty of time. Get out there early so that you've got plenty of time to warm up, get the horse going and ride as if you're in a training exercise. 
forget where you're at, just get out there and ride and enjoy it and in, ride for yourself, not for anyone else. Most important and have fun. Uh, thank you very much Shelley for talking to Top Horse and wish you all the best for the rest of Baristock. Thank you very much.